So you might be in a situation where you're trying to recover deleted like photos, deleted applications, deleted messages, and luckily with iOS 16, there are tons of ways to go about and actually recovering a lot of this data. So luckily for you, I wouldn't freak out about it too much. There are tons and tons of ways to recover all your data. And honestly, even if you don't have a backup or anything, iCloud and a lot of applications already store a lot of your data in the background for better or for worse. So you can always recover a lot of your data that way too. So the first thing I want to hit on is messages. Now with iOS 16, if you are able to go on iOS 16, I would highly, highly, highly recommend updating, especially if you're if you're already on iOS 16, you're good. If you haven't updated yet, you're probably, you probably can't do it. But what you want to do is you want to make your way over to messages just like this, and you want to go ahead and click on the little edit button. Now, if you're able to swipe back out, then I'd probably recommend doing that. But go ahead and click on edit up here, and you want to go ahead and click on show recently deleted. What this is going to do is it's going to allow you basically to recover and undelete those specific messages there. That is by far one of the best things you can do in this specific example, and that's usually what I recommend people to do. So go and click there, and when you do that, so if I click it again, when you do that, you'll basically go ahead, I don't know why I got this little thing come up, you'll basically be able to see that, if I go and delete this message, you'll basically be able to see that that message will go ahead and come up and I can go ahead and see that recently deleted message. And that is basically all you have to do. From here, you can go ahead and recover those messages by clicking on that, tapping on that message and clicking to recover. And that is one awesome thing that you have the ability of doing. So that is specifically with messages. Now we're in this weird situation for the most part where maybe you can't recover your messages. Maybe you you know lost your phone or whatever the case is. Luckily for us, iCloud Drive is there pretty much to save us. So what we can basically do for the most part is make our way over to our settings application just like this. And when we come here, there's basically a lot of different information here that we can kind of extract from our specific, you know, iPhone and iCloud backup. So what we can do is we can go and click on our, on our name up there. And from here, we want to go ahead and click on iCloud. So go and click on iCloud and you'll come into this panel. Now, what you want to do and verify is that this type of information is pretty much turned on or it was turned on at one point. So as you can see, if this says on, if iCloud Drive says on, if these two things, I mean, we can even click show all, as long as these things are pretty much toggled on for the most part, you are good to go. You don't need every single thing to be on, but messages, iPhotos, iCloud Drive, and maybe some of these applications, if you have the capability of doing so, you can go ahead and turn on. That way, all this information will be stored on your cloud. Now, what you want to do here is once you verify things are turned on, if not all of them are on, it's okay, go ahead and swipe back out and you want to go ahead and go down into iCloud Backup. Now, before you even click there, you can basically see up here a little glimpse of what is taken up with what. You can see my photos takes up a little bit of my storage, but my backups take up a majority of it. So what you can do is scroll down and you want to go and click on iCloud Backup. Now, what this is going to do is going to bring up a list of different backups that you've had on your device. So you can see right here, my latest one was this one probably. It's 1.7 gigabytes. So even if it doesn't allow you to basically restore your whole entire operating system and your whole entire like data that you've had from day one of your phone, at least you'll be able to get some of it. So go and click on the one that looks like this. And you can see this one was September 11th of 2020. You can see right here, this one was my last backup and the backup size was 1.7 gigabytes. So if I want to, I can go ahead and basically revert back to this backup. I think I can use my files application. I don't know why it's not allowing me to basically restore from this, but basically if you set up your iPhone back to normal how you did before, you can go ahead and use this backup if you want to. You can also use this backup if you want to as well, but it just kind of goes by in size. So that's another option you have. You can restore from these backups within your settings from your, you know, startup setup panel and that's another thing you could do to recover some of your data now if you're specifically talking about photos right if you recently deleted a lot of your photos you can always recover those photos back by clicking on your albums and swiping back out you can basically scroll down until you see recently deleted and you'll basically be able to see a ton of recently deleted photos and videos and other things here too so that's another thing you have the ability of doing right there Swiping back out though, if you don't see that or if you didn't recently delete any photos or videos or anything like that either, another thing you can do that I've personally done a ton of times, believe it or not, is actually by recovering my photos via other apps. 
So what this basically means is, let's say for example, I deleted some photos on my photos app and I can't seem to find it. I will try going into my messages application and I will try going through and finding messages that I've had before. So in this case, we'll just have this one. And maybe these people sent me images. So in this case, I can go ahead and save those images just like this. And even though it may take a little bit of time, it's better to have those images saved like that rather than not having those images in general. So I will basically go through each individual message that I've sent somebody and basically click on it and try downloading and saving those images individually. Now, a lot of these other applications, like I mentioned earlier on, can basically save some of your photos as well. So in this case, if I make my way over to Snapchat, I can go ahead and log into Snapchat. I'll be able to see all of my photos and stuff by swiping up. And here we go. Here is a lot of photos. I don't even remember. Look at this from November 30th, probably four or five years ago, I can basically find these videos and photos like this, hold them down just like this, and go ahead and download them. I can save to stories or so many other options. I can always screenshot them too. So even though I don't have these photos saved on my device, I can still basically, you know, find them just like this. So that's another option you have. Same exact thing goes for Instagram. So with Instagram, you do the exact same thing. You log in, you can basically try to find some photos within the DMs that you've sent. That's another option you have. Now, finally, specifically with applications, like I mentioned before, a lot of your data is probably already saved automatically within these apps. So even if I delete a Genshin Impact, right, I don't have to go ahead and have a backup ready of my Genshin Impact account because all the data is stored on their servers or Apple servers. So there's nothing really stored on my device. If I delete a Genshin Impact, I would just have to log in and all my data is already stored. That's why you can go ahead and upgrade your phone. Like if I wanted to go play the same game, same account on my Samsung phone, I can do so and be at the exact same spot. So if you're worried about that type of situation, then I wouldn't really be worried about it too much. However, if you're trying to recover your account, that's a completely different situation. Same exact thing goes for Pokemon Go, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, all these games. But Subway Surfer Stack, those types of games aren't really saved like that. What you can always do though, is make your way over to your app store just like this. You wanna click on the little search button, you wanna search up here, and you wanna search up that game that you wanna go ahead and essentially recover. In this case, We'll just go ahead and use Genshin Impact. So we can just type in Genshin, then Impact just like this. And what you can do is you can go ahead and basically download these games. So with Genshin Impact, like I mentioned, we pretty much already have it downloaded. We're pretty much already updated. And all you would have to do is go ahead and log in with that specific game with that account. Now, sometimes you may also see that some games may already have a little cloud icon next to it, and that is perfect. So in this case, if I were to go ahead and type in, I think Call of Duty Mobile is one I don't have here. So in this case, if you see this type of icon, that means you've already had downloaded that you know, application before and you're probably in a better situation than you originally thought. So just click that download icon. It'll go ahead and download that game. And from there, you just log in with your account and you should be good to go. Now, ultimately, if none of those things are working, you can always, like I said before, revert back to an icon backup by basically factory resetting your phone. And with that initial process, you just restore from an icon backup. And that all happens with these you know, backups that you have here. If you don't have any backups within this panel, again, we go into settings, we click on our name up here, we click on iCloud, and we go and scroll down into iCloud backup just to verify, you should be able to see some iCloud backups here. You want to take the date and the size. If it's like one megabyte, that means it didn't really back up anything. If it's, depending on the size of iCloud that you have and everything, if it's quite a large update, just go ahead and back it up and go ahead and don't, don't back up this one. Just, you know, keep this one here. Don't delete any of these. Restore your phone with one of these backups and that may help recover some of your data as well. So that pretty much covers it up for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.